a musky so I could take it away. Anyway, you might be wondering, wondering why I'm, I'm wearing this uh, goggle and snorkel kind of thing. Well, I gotta keep the videos more stuffed up. I try to go up in the world. I bought an iPhone 10 to shoot on high quality. What I do, I lose my phone. iPhone 10, like instantly in a boat ramp. I fell out at the end of the day and I saw the phone on and it was just like spiraling down with the phone on into the muck. I saw the phone still on it. It kind of like went down deeper and into this like suck. It's just like a busy murky ramp. It's the worst place I could have lost it. I put the aqua view down, couldn't see any phone. I think it's in the muck. I gotta go down, maybe even with a magnet. I like the tan line, it's like I got a t-shirt on. I've been out there so often. But today's episode, I got uh, a couple buddies of mine, Uncle D and Danny T, great guys. He never caught a muskie in his life. Um, I was just teaching him how to use a, a reel, really quick learner, a uh, fake cast reel. He's doing really well with that. Let's watch this and see if he gets his first muskie. He's been trying for years. Uh, we kind of mixed it up. I don't want to tire them out too much because I know muskie the first time casting can be a little bit much. So we mixed it up and we took what was given. Uh, it was really calm and sunny and clear to start. And we thought that'd be a good time to go for smallmouth. So we twisted in the corpus where I knew we could get bass, walleye, maybe some crappie, maybe some bluegill, muskie. Um, just had a lot of options, but a ton of rods you can see in the boat at some point in the video. But it's a total uh, OD on rods once again. I don't know if there will ever be a day where I don't OD um, on rods. But anyway, yeah, I'm a total rod overdoser and it makes the boat a mess, but it's nice to have it all when you're multi species fishing, running from one thing to another. Anyway, check it out. I hope you like it raw because I'm back on my iPhone 7 which is still so scuffed up, the video quality. Uh, I try to get better, but I think, um, you know what I mean? Scuffed up gods want me to maintain scuffed up. I don't know, it is what it is, and uh, maybe I just gotta keep it real like that. R.I.P. O.D.B. All right, check it out. What about this weather? What'd you say about this weather? Rain. And what about the rain? Rain. If the rain, rain if the rain come, Lots of fish. Lots of fish. Oh my god, this is the biggest muskie I've ever seen out of this lake. Today, we're going to be fishing with a couple special guests. This is Uncle D. And this is Danny T. Danny T, that's your tournament name. How many big bass you catch, Danny T, in a year? How many five pounders? I'm talking about big nickels. Danny, Danny, Danny T with our first smallmouth. First fish of the day, one nothing Danny T. Not a giant, but it's a start. What are you getting on, the old 360? Nice. Woo, Danny T, getting it done. Danny T, Uncle D is just offered us uh, $15 for one of those. <laughs> Two nothing Danny T on the old swim bait. Uncle D got a maps in his butt. Do you want me to take that out? And he's got a fish. What's the score now? 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Just like that. What do you have to say about hey, that, Danny T? only one's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Danny T, we just saw this fish. We read the fish. Cruising. That's like about the size that I lost. Woo, Danny T. That's what we're looking for. Hold that up, Danny T. Woo! We just saw that one come up. And we popped it on the old wax star. Green pumpkin? Not green bug. <laughs> we love green bug. Good job, buddy. S snipe that one, and then we got another one over here. Oh, that's a good one. Well, that small mouth thought he was a large mouth. Nice fish. What do you got him? Right out of that bush? It's probably their musky net. Woo! Nice one. Time. You're a real bushwhacker, bro. Bushwhacker. Yeah. This kid is using the force. Is there another one with him? Oh, that's just a shadow. Kid is using the force. He's on fire. 9-7. Danny T. Did you see him? Or you just did you snipe him or were you just there? Nice. Let me see that. Let me see it. Hold it up. 
Oh yeah, turn sideways. Oh yeah, Uncle D, nice smolly man. Northern smollies, good old. It's coming on, we went through a little bit of a dry spell and now we're back in the game, son. You just said it too, eh? Yeah. So once we get past this dock right here, that turns on. Yeah. What's the score, Danny T, just a little update? It's like nine, eight. And we've been fishing for about, what, an hour and 45 minutes kind of thing? Nine, eight? Yeah. Sweet. I stopped to look at my watch. <laughs> <laughs> just whacking them. Whacking them. Whacking them with the old wacky. They should be illegal. That's a juvenile pike. That's a juvenile bass. I don't know if you can see this. We're in the quarters and there's like a juvenile moose. Is he mooing? <laughs> Maybe it's just a cow. That's a calf. A calf? It's a horse. It's a horse? Not joking. It's a it's a moose, it's, no? Yeah, it's a bait it's a a younger female moose. It looks like a brontosaurus, bro. That one, the anteater cartoon. It's a young moose. Ah. Hello, Fred. Ah. What do they eat? Leeches? Danny T, do they eat leeches? You're the hunter. Buddy, he's just drinking water. Do you want to make moose jerky sizzle chest? <laughs> sizzle chest. <laughs> My chest is sizzling. It's so hot out, bro. Yeah, we just saw a moose, and uh, and uh, these guys are in a smallmouth battle. Nephew and uncle, they got, uh, it's 11.10, I don't know for who, but now we're into the largemouth. Then we're gonna go for walleye and some muskie, and maybe some crab stars. Let's see how many species we can get on this very day. We do have a largemouth in the boat, no? Oh, there's a dink. We're not gonna count that. So let's move on with our lives. Oh no, sorry man, we'll count it. We just lost a pike, which was weird. Never caught a pike in here. And Uncle D, Wait, so nice job though. Camera. How heavy is that to throw? Like a 10 pound dumbbell. It's turning into stone. The big old dirty Medusa. Your right hip's tired? <laughs> You're like I'm doing, like this. No, you got the He-Man twist going on. Remember G.I. Joe and He-Man figures? You got the rubber band in their waist. <laughs> You're doing the He-Man twist, bro. And your cousin is named Ram Man. They got no neck. That's a shout out to you, Ryan Edwards. You got no neck. <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> He's been hit in the head a million times, zero concussion. The stuff doesn't move. His head is kind of like, you know what it's like? A fire hydrant. Dun! Try to concuss a fire hydrant and see what happens. You get concussed. Big up to Ram Man. <laughs> So we're fishing for muskie and we get a double header and what do we get? A largemouth on a medusa. A largemouth on a medusa. Largemouth on a medusa. Just chomp that. And a pike, a pike on a glide bait. A big old phantom. And a nice pike. I've never even seen a pike in here till today. Got a double header here. Pike and largemouth. Uncle D and Danny T making it happen while we're fishing for muskie, we catch other species. Oh well, let's go though. It's nice, fun. Peace to you later, boys. Uh, go. He got smashed by a ski. I know, something happened there. Okay. The muskie? Oh my god, this is the biggest muskie I've ever seen out of this lake. Oh my god, this is the biggest muskie I've ever seen out of this lake. Oh my god. You see? Look, T-boned it. T-boned it. it. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> T-boned it! <laughs> oh. This is my a monster. Dead, you gotta take it. You gotta send me that footage, so man. That thing is a puppy <laughs> gonna be one, I see this back tail come out. Are you your heart beating like mine, brother? Thick, 46 and a half or 40. That is a thick fish. I thought it was a lot bigger because when I saw the shoulders, 
It's a big fish. Well, there she goes. Come on, honey. She's good. Stay down. Yeah, she's good. God, I'm making all the better, brother. We have an extra tail, man. Yeah, yeah. We lost a tail. Well, I'm with Uncle D. We just had a double header of a large mouth on a pike. And then right after, boom, muskie. So just before that, we fished for a couple uh, darts. We caught a few walleye. And they're biting. So I felt kind of like, well, the barometer's probably good if they're hitting with this much food around them or so much perch around them. And then bang, bang, bang. So uh, the darts sometimes are a signal when they start biting the lawn darts. Time to move on the muskie if you want to. We kind of picked it. It wasn't many casts till we got that big muskie. That's off the weed line, and he cast like into like the jungle, bro. Are you sure that's a fish? I think it was a weed. No, that's a fish. Holy cow, he's got another one. He cast in the jungle. Is it big, bud? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you second, making me second guess now, man. The fish, man. The other pike. What the? A pike I've never even seen this many pike in here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. Don't even get them in the net. Holy cow, bro. Too many of these. Snot rockets, too. The other one was better. You think it's a pike? Or a weeds this plus pike? pike this type, buddy. It's a musky? It's a musky, buddy. Like... Pike. Oh, pike. <laughs> <laughs> these pike are on fire. But it's a nice pike. Genuine chunky, holy cow. It's a musky buddy says. Holy this guy. Pike musky pike. Buddy, I'm taking his bait home is what I'm doing. This thing's good, eh? Okay. I'm just gonna go like this. That's ghetto. It's a coffee cup floating with that walleye. Okay, yeah, we got a couple darts and then we move to the musky. And then bango, got them on our eight ounce uh, power grub. Uh, orange and brown and orange. Well, I'm we just finished catching fish and musky. Now we're going to go to some crappie. And while I was raking up some floats, we got old Coach Z. Nice largemouth pot. You're on fire, right? How does that feel to be so on fire? It's so hot right now. You look like some sexual candy right now. <laughs> You're a fish god. Sexy to those fish. Okay, so we're, we're like, honestly, I'm still looking for a piece for my float. He's going wacky break. And he gets a walleye. Unreal. Who says why the bird doesn't catch walleye? There it is. We're going to put that one in. Dinner, D, sure. That's good. You know what I mean? To finish the day, we're going after some floppies. Because there's Uncle D's float. Uh, we got some floppies in here. Our biggest one so far that we just started is probably 11 inches. A nice old slab all, you know? Beautiful. It's our best one before we just started. They're still here. Water 70 degrees and we're still shallow. Nice. We've got floating crap on the water, but we're still catching sloppies. Look at that LVMC moon eye head. The castle lights are getting dim. There's no one left but me and them. <laughs> yep, good day. Crap stars, musky. Walleye, smallmouth, largemouth. Anything else? Pike. Pike. Oh yeah, that was weird. The message of the story today is twig. Take what is given. Start off sunny, calm, crystal clear. So we opted for the old smallmouth. And then it got a little bit, uh, well, it went sunny and we went for largemouth in the shallow stuff, but the weeds weren't there, so it really sucked. So we moved and then it got gray a little bit and then we moved into the walleye then bang bang and the clear water started fighting a little bit then it got grayer and so we said let's go muskay and this guy gets a giant so yeah and we saw another giant right that followed almost bit but your figure eight was loosey goosey we need to work on that still <laughs> but anyway you're big king how does it feel to be big king tired yeah you feel like king kong <laughs> The Big Champ. We're with the Big Champ and another fine North American classic. The good old Popeyes. Big old chicken. We should use Popeyes chicken for musky. Tip your bucktail jig with it. Rip some chicken, rip some musky. <laughs>